Today, we are going to be talking about incentive based marketing. And I have a very special guest by the name of Marco Torres. And so if you are not following the Business Success Show, make sure you follow, make sure you're connecting with us. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel as well. Feel free to add comments. Now, before I bring Marco up, I want to share very, very quickly because people have messaged me to say, Matt, right now, what are some effective ways, cost effective, low budget ways to market to get new clients? So I want to very, very quickly uh, give you five, right? And one will be provide valuable content to your audience. Now, in order to provide valuable content to your audience, you need to know who your audience is. So take a moment to think about who your audience is. I'm talking about your ideal client and some people call your ideal target audience. What are their pains? What are their problems? What are their challenges? What content will they find valuable? And when I talk about content, I'm talking about content they can consume, whether it's a podcast, whether it's a video series that you create, whether it's a PDF report, whether it's a checklist, right? Now get that out to them, but you wanna capture their email, so give it out for free, valuable content, capture the email and get back to them and continue giving them valuable information and at some point make them an offer. Now, number two, what I would say is joint ventures. Do joint ventures. What are joint ventures? Joint ventures are simply where you have the ability to piggyback off your partner's um, already made audience. So imagine somebody invites you to come and speak to their audience and that audience has your ideal clients or somebody invites you to actually do a email promotion to their database because you've got valuable information that you can share imagine that they place you in front of their audience your and your those are your ideal clients guess what they've automatically endorsed you as you can trust this person they've got great value to add to you so i love joint ventures if you want to know more about doing joint ventures make sure you check me out mac at tram.com all about joint ventures there you'll learn how to do that a high way Num number three number three number three you can do contests and giveaways so you can do a run a contest whereby you can say hey this week we are doing this special thing and if you give us your best ideas or what your thoughts are on this, we'll put your uh, name into a hat, we'll draw it out, you can then win. And or for everyone who buys this thing this month, you're also going to get this. So run a contest, run a giveaway. Uh, number four, you can also, if you are uh, spending a lot of time on social media, contribute to various groups. There's various groups in LinkedIn, various groups in uh, in Facebook and you can also spend time around Instagram if that's your particular channel add value again I love adding value to people because if you add in value to those groups guess what now they see you as the some kind of expert some kind of authority and when you then when they reach out to you or you can invite them to reach out to you and then just help them support them give them what you can and number five which is great is incentive-based marketing. Incentive-based marketing is all the stuff we're gonna hear about right now. I've known about this for years, I haven't really done a lot with it, so I've invited Marco, Marco to jump on, to come and give us information on this, and also tell us about his company and why incentive-based marketing is so, so important. Now remember to subscribe, to follow, and also to make comments as we go straight into this interview right now. And Marco is the founder of marketingboost.com. Now he has helped thousands of business owners worldwide boost sales and scale their businesses by as much as, listen very carefully, five times. Now he has a very unique way of doing this. And that's why we wanted to have this conversation with him. Now it's through the use of incentive-based marketing. Now he teaches entrepreneurs how to scale their business, how to scale their sales and marketing through the use of value add incentives. Instead of, which a lot of people mistakenly do, instead of discounts. Not discounts, incentive based. And we wanna hear more about that. I wanna learn more about that as well. So Marco, welcome, welcome to the Business Success Show. Thank you for gracing us with your presence.
Thank you for having me, Mac. I look forward to our chat here. You're most welcome. Let's get straight into it, right? Let's talk about what is incentive-based marketing and also what is value-add incentives? What are all these things? And also, how did you come up with this? And later on, what I want to get into is more about your entrepreneurial background because you have a very wide um, historic uh, in, in entrepreneurial background. I want to hear about that. But let's get into those listening in. Welcome. What is incentive-based marketing and value? Well, that's a great question, and we'll jump right in. So I'm going to first relate to, you know, people are going to relate to this easier when we talk about what is incentive-based marketing, and you'll relate to it with some of the examples I'm going to give you here now. Incentive-based marketing is as simple as this. It's something, obviously, we didn't invent it. You know, for example, McDonald's, they have the Happy Meal. And right. what is the Happy Meal? Well, it's an incentive to get, you know, parents basically to bring their kids into the McDonald's versus Burger King because they have the Happy Meal, which includes a the burger, the fries, the, you know, the, the, the soda and a fruit basket or whatever it is. And of course, the toy. And the little toy in the box is something that has been an incentive driving kids to want to go to McDonald's over other things. And of course, parents go along to get the kid in the back seat to stop screaming. Right. And that, and it takes your eye off of the price. So instead of McDonald's worrying about discounting the price to beat Burger King, they've got the Happy Meal with the little toy in it. And that takes your eye off the price and you're buying from McDonald's versus elsewhere. And that has turned into billions of dollars of additional sales for for uh, McDonald's every single year they get, I think it's over a billion dollars a year in additional sales that they attribute to the Happy Meal. Let's look at another example, Amazon Prime, right? Amazon, yeah. many of us are shopping on Amazon all over the world today. And I don't know if they have this in the UK or not, but in the US they have Amazon Prime. And so the whole idea is the incentive, get Amazon Prime and yeah. now you get free shipping. So not only do you get when you purchase Amazon Prime, you get the video uh, tool to watch all of their streaming video movies. But more importantly, by buying Amazon Prime, you get free shipping with your all of your purchases on Amazon or the majority of your purchases. That's so true. what does that do? Now that has locked him in with clients all over the world that choose Amazon over anybody else because right. of the free shipping included. That was the incentive. So... Right. We, 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 uh, that's a kind of two major examples from the, the richest person in the world, practically, you know, Jeff Bezos, who, you know, put together Amazon. And that incentive has totally revolutionized his business. And so we bring incentives, travel incentives, and I'll cover more about that with marketing boost when we go along. But that gives you, I hope that answers your question about. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So what, absolutely. Well, great, two great examples. And so for our listeners here, for our business owners and entrepreneurs, what I'm hearing Marco say is this, instead of discounting to win the sale, what if you incentivized whereby now the perception is I am actually getting more value for my money. And more value means that I'm gonna keep coming back and I'm gonna use this particular outlet because I'm getting more value for my money. That's a perception instead of discounting. I love those two examples, McDonald's and Amazon Prime. And Amazon Prime then gives you, you pay your one year subscription, you're getting videos, you're getting audios, you're getting free shipping and many, many more. They keep adding to it. So what's the reason to jump ship? If you can get the same quality with more incentives, keeps you there. So how did you come up with this? I mean, it's not a new concept in marketing, but it's rarely used by a lot of uh, people. Yeah, well, it came about actually by accident. So we're, we're my partners and I have been in the travel space since, uh, uh, well, I've been in the travel business since the mid 90s. And I've been an internet entrepreneur since 1996. So I got a very early adapter in online marketing and what have you. But let me tell you how marketing boost came about. So we were uh, in the travel business, we were growing a very fast, uh, successful travel website. And we wanted video reviews. Now, what I'm going to talk about next is another business tip that any entrepreneur can use because we all need more reviews. We all need more testimonials. We need more uh, 
and if you can get video reviews, it's a huge game changer. So this is what we needed. We needed video reviews as we were selling travel and hotels and resorts around the world. We needed, we were hoping, what could we do to incentivize people to actually go the extra mile and give us a selfie video testimonial from the resort, beaches, pool, bar, restaurants. And so we came up with an idea. What if we gave them a bonus trip and we asked them to, uh, to film a selfie video testimonial? So here's how we did it. We did a survey the day after they checked in. We figured when would they be the happiest? And this is one of the keys that mm -hmm. any business owner can do. When is your client likely to be the happiest with your product? When would that emotion be getting you know, at their peak? We figured it would be the day after check-in at the hotel. Right, right. So we'd send them an email and a text message asking them, hey, how are we living up to your expectations? How's the hotel that you're staying in? Is it what you expected? How's our service so far? Please rate us on one to five. Uh, give us a scale rating. And if they gave us back a four or five, we'd immediately respond with wonderful. We're thrilled you're enjoying the hotel and the, and the amenities. If you would go the extra mile and do a selfie video testimonial and brag about that hotel brand and help tell the world about it and brag about our travel brand, if you'll do that, we'll reward you with a complimentary bonus day, bonus trip on us for three nights in your choice of Orlando or Las Vegas. And then that turned into, we started getting dozens and then hundreds of these video testimonials wow. coming in. We were putting them all over our website and leveraging those into thousands of additional sales and and that was the big, you know we we was like wow this is really working and we're leveraging these video reviews uh, from real clients happy travelers who've gone to beaches of the world filming selfie videos, and then of course a few months later all these people started raising their hands saying hey we, how do we use our free trip, and now we had to dig into our pockets to pay for those free rooms we were giving away, and so <laughs> now we're scratching our head going wow okay how can we how can we make that cost us less or next to nothing yeah. so we went so we went back to these hotel partners that, because we were selling a lot of travel we went back to these hotel partners and said look we know you've got a problem and we think we can fix it you've got rooms that go unsold yeah 70 you know the hotels are never full year round they're full 70 you know they're, they're full on certain weekends holidays peak seasons but the majority of the year 70 percent of the year 30 percent of their rooms go empty yeah so we said to them look we can help you put warm bodies, couples, families, individuals in those rooms. They'll spend money at the restaurant, the bar, the spa, the casino, the gift shop, the excursion desk. They'll book extra nights. They'll upgrade room types. If you'll give us those rooms for, you know, for free or for next to nothing, we'll put warm bodies in there so you can get some revenue versus none. And they, we got a couple of them to agree in Orlando and Las Vegas. And now we were able to continue to fulfill the giveaways we were giving our own complimentary hotel stays without us costing any money. And then we thought, wow, can you imagine if we had hundreds of hotels worldwide participating in this? Okay. We would have a brand new standalone business. And that is what became marketingboost.com today, where we offer three types of incentives travel incentives that can be used now. We've proven it over the years. You know, we launched this in 2017. We've proven and helped hundreds of businesses use these travel incentives to add value to whatever their call to action is. So we give three types of incentives, which are complimentary hotel stays okay. in over 125 destinations around the world, three night stays in, in uh, everywhere from London, the Canary Islands, all throughout Europe, Paris, Australia, Singapore, all over Asia. Uh, we've got seven night stays in places like Phuket, Thailand, Bali, oh. five night stays in Hawaii, Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, Cabo San Lucas, very three nice. night stays in 30 destinations throughout the US. So that's a very powerful, high perceived value incentive that you can add to whatever your call to action is. And then we have hotel savings cards, hotel savings vouchers. They come in increments of one, two, three, and $500 that can be used, uh, they're, they're good at a million hotels worldwide. And again, these are adding value incentives and we make them in different increments so you can use them in, with, with different calls to action so that they're, they fit the bill. So a hundred dollar hotel savings voucher free in exchange for maybe booking a, a, a no obligation Zoom call, you know, an appointment. And yeah. then there's restaurant savings vouchers that we have that are only good, in, that are good in the US and Canada. But our, otherwise, our incentives are good globally. Um, 
So that's kind of the, the three types of incentives, Mac. And then of course we can get into different examples of case studies of how these incentives are used and positioned with just about any business right. out there. This is, what, this is what I want to get to because I want our audience here to listen very carefully about incentive-based marketing. And I want to go down to some case studies um, and whether it's your case study where someone has a service or a product and instead of discounting it, they say, actually, let me use Marketing Boost. Let me use one of the incentives here, which, you know, cost me next to nothing, maybe a few um, dollars, but the perceived value is so high that my clients keep coming back and they choose to buy from me and no one else. Okay, so I want, I want to go down that line. Give us a, a couple of case studies where people have used that kind of a marketing strategy. Sure. So again, that's, that's, that is one of the powers of these incentives is that can one, help you stand out from the crowd because you'll, your, your offers will be different. Uh, and then two, they can, you know, here's some examples. So one idea that one example that comes to mind is a recently had a business owner who launched his business actually in January of 2021. And he built a huge following of subscribers, monthly subscribers that paid him 97 a month to have access to his tips on when to buy and sell trade stocks, cryptocurrencies, and what have you. And he built a huge a free version and a paid version, and he had them all on Telegram. So they were all on that new, uh, one of the new social, me uh, 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 social media platforms. And he had a, a bunch of them, hundreds of them paying him $97 a month. And then he found Marketing Boost and he came up with a plan to see how many he could get to upgrade from paying him monthly to pay him for six months in advance or to buy an annual membership and pay him for 12 months in advance. Okay. So it, instead of discounting saying, hey, if you pay me for 12 months in advance, I'll give you, you know, 30% off. He came up with an idea to say, hey, he added his own incentive which was, for example, pay for 12 months in advance, get the 13th month free. So right. that's an example of creating your own added value incentive with whatever your with your own product, additional units, additional period time, you know, time frame, et cetera. So he added a 13th month free. And he said, if you pay for the year in advance, you'll have a bonus of your choice of five nights, uh, a complimentary hotel stay in Cancun or five nights in Hawaii. And he had over, uh, and then he said for the six month plan, if you pay us for six months in advance, you get, you know, bonus two weeks of additional uh, uh, time free. Plus you'll get your choice of three nights in Las Vegas or three nights in Orlando. And he ended up with about a uh, hundred, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, almost 300 of them step up and pay for a year in advance at over $1,200 a piece. And another uh, 150 or so pay him for six months in advance. And he ended up with generating almost five hundred thousand dollars in immediate cash flow by upgrading all of his these members who decided to pay for the year in advance or six months in advance for because of the prize. They taking their eye off that they already were familiar with his service and loved it, and they were willing to step up and pay for the year in advance now, like buying the Amazon plan because they were going to get that six day five night Hawaii bonus or Cancun bonus. And boom, you know, five hundred thousand dollars in cash flow overnight. Yeah, that's yeah. one example. Uh -huh. um, I've have um, had another guy. He's he's in the um, windshield replacement business, and uh, here in the United States. And in that business, the insurance companies, car insurance companies, they'll if your windshield gets cracked, they typically pay for it. So it doesn't cost a consumer anything. So in that industry, it's very competitive. And they often have to do cash rebates to clients for them to select what this, uh, you know, one re windshield replacement company over the other. Right. And so, so they had continued to use their advertising with, hey, we'll give you $150 cash back if you, you know, replace your windshield with us. And, uh, but then he trained all of his installers to when they got, after they installed the windshield and before handing that client a check for $150 cash back, they would say they would sell, they would show them the printed certificate for, hey, you know, here's five nights in your choice of, you know, Cabo San Lucas, Puerto Vallarta or Cancun, uh, or three nights in Las, you know, can, uh, uh, you know, Las Vegas, New York, whatever the destinations were. But they would, they would show them this high perceived value travel incentive 
and say, look, if you know, if you'll love, we have this promo going on right now. Instead of the cash rebate, if you'll take this trip to Cancun, we'll give you this, you know, five nights stay in Cancun instead of 150 cash back. Right. And they they had they literally made in over in, in the last couple of years now they've they've put in over a million dollars back into their pocket by not giving people by switching the cash back for one of yeah. our travel incentives. And it's just been a home run. Now there are some discla- disclosures that should be made. For example, you know, the, these complimentary hotel stays, they don't include airfare, of course, they don't include mm-hmm. food and beverage, and they don't include the government taxes and fees. Yeah. So they, uh, they just do a proper disclosure of that. And that's how these work. And the, the consumer who receives the incentive has to pay the an activation fee, which covers the approximate government taxes that will be billed for those hotel rooms, and um, and then they get eighteen months to log into an online platform, search the dates they want to go, yeah. book the dates. They get instant gratification, instant confirmation, no hoops to jump through, no timeshare presentations, no sales presentations. It's a it's it's a truly win win win. We've made it where the resorts win, the hotels partners win because they're filling rooms that would have gone empty. The marketing boost member really wins big because he gets uh, the ability to add these high perceived values incentives to his call to action. And the and the consumer who get, receives it wins because they're getting to travel at pennies on the dollar and uh, staying in basically complimentary hotel rooms other than, of course, airfare, food and beverage and government taxes. So it's a win, win, win there. And then, of course, the same works with the hotel savings cards, et cetera. But um, uh, we can go into more examples. and That's yeah, great, great. I mean, two great examples. Now, in both examples, I just wanted to ask about the COVID situation, the you know, lockdown situation and the pandemic. How did that affect the business or that model, if at all? Oh, it did. It, it, we took a hit because we did have, uh, uh, you know, hundreds of business owners of marketing booths who thought that, Nobody will be interested in travel during the COVID. So, you know, they were they were either dropping their membership or or they weren't, you know, giving out the incentives. But others who stuck with us, uh, the you know, we probably lost about you know during COVID probably forty percent of our membership base, to be honest with you, and sixty percent kept it. But the sixty percent who kept on going, what they found out was that people continued to have hope that this pandemic would end sooner or later and that they would want to travel. And so mm-hmm. they were still they were still using the travel incentives as part of their call to action. People were still activating them. Now, truthfully, they weren't traveling much during that time. So we, what we did was we extended the time frame. Instead of 18 oh, okay. months to use it, we gave people 24 months to use the incentive. Right. And people would, 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 would activate the certificate and, 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 and they weren't using it during 2020. But at the end of by the end of 2021, we'd never seen anything like it. You know, the last six months of 2021, yeah. as the vaccines were being given out everywhere, and as people were, you know, getting over, and, and government was governments were relaxing the the rules, the the suddenly the boom, the usage of those incentives went through the roof. And same 2022, we've never seen so much usage of these incentives as we're seeing right now. I call it revenge travel. <laughs> revenge are, travel. <laughs> there, yeah, there, there's never been a better time to use these incentives as part of your call to action because people are bent, are, are, are there's a pent up demand for travel. People want to go somewhere, even if it's getting the car and drive to a destination relatively close by. They want to get out of the house. They want to go back to traveling again. Uh, and people are doing that. So the incentives are working very, very well right now, but better than ever, actually. And so our, our user base is back. We're back to where we were prior to 20, you know, 2019, and we're growing virally. We barely have to do any advertising. And so it's the, the, the membership is growing, and more and more members around the world are now using our incentives. It's fantastic. Well, great, great, great business model and uh, making a difference to other people. I'll come back to marketingboost.com uh, uh, again in a moment. I want to take a bit of a journey to your entrepreneurial background. You've been an entrepreneur since the age of nine. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Tell yeah. us, what were you doing at nine years old when people were playing games outside and having fun 
What were you getting up to? <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know why I, I got so inspired to do this so young. And I had completely forgotten about it until about a year ago. I was going through my dad's, my mom's house and cleaning out her garage. And, you know, she would become kind of a hoarder. So I was like trying to reduce all of her stuff. And my dad's been, he passed away a while back. But uh, I was going through these files and, and I found a folder with my name on it and pulled it out. And there's a bunch of, you know, stuff about me. And one of them was a, uh, a print uh, the front I was featured on the front page of the newspaper of our local uh, newspaper where I had built the biggest paper route they'd ever seen by the age of 12 and I started at nine and uh, one of the things I leveraged early on was relationships and I realized you know I kind of liked knocking on doors and selling the subscriptions and going back for collections because in those days we had to sell it collect the money and go back and and deliver the papers and collect them you know what they owed you so I had to learn. My dad taught me about about spreadsheets and managing who owes me what and who's you know where are we on collections and and but I had recruited buddies of mine to help me deliver the papers and uh, so I had to, you know I went to I focused on condominiums you know find out where everybody yeah. lives in a tight space and I'd go door to door easily from one floor to the other in the condominium and sell the subscriptions and then we could ride bikes down the hallway and deliver our paper route. And so I had, you know, hundreds of, of people in our, uh, in my route, I ended up selling the route eventually and moving on to going back to football in high school. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Listen, Marco, what did, you know, being an entrepreneur at such a young age, how did that shape you in later life when, uh, yeah, in terms of doing bigger and better projects and the relationships that you talk about, how did that yeah. shape you, do you think? I guess it did a lot because, um, by the time I got out of high school, I went to, started, I signed up to go to college for uh, a while and I didn't last but not a year and a half. I'm like, it's not for me. I, I want to be in business for myself. And uh, I, by the time I was 23, from then on, I had, you know, I owned five restaurants and a nightclub. Uh, so I had a bar, it was open until 7 a.m. when I was 23. Wow. And, uh, and so, you know, I, I've, I've been an entrepreneur and I've been, uh, early adapter and all kinds of things is, but the restaurant and, and nightclub business taught me a lot about, about, you know, people, what makes people tick, how to, you know, how to communicate with people, how to talk to people, how to, you know, just being a waiter, I, you know, I know, I know hundreds of people that start their careers being a bar back bus boy waiter, great, great place to start because you're learning how to co communicate a lot with people right. and, and learn. And so, but then I went on to get into the corporate world uh, after we sold the restaurants to, to some of them, we sold to Taco Bell uh, when they bought it. We were in the Mexican food business and we had they cornered the market in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So we sold, sold them to Taco Bell. And then I went on to the corporate world and um, got into the travel internet marketing space. Um, I became an expert at that and mm -hmm. uh, um building, you know, generating literally a billion dollars worth of sales between 2000 and 2008 off of the internet uh, for the company that I worked for and my clients. And uh, so from there, I moved on to stay in the, in, into the travel space and launch our own travel sites. And the, like I mentioned earlier on, what became marketingboost.com. So I, I've been around enough to, to really know, you know, learn what, it, what, what makes people take action and how to create scarcity and urgency and add value with the, with, for example, with the, with your own, you know, with incentives, whether it be your own added value incentives or finding ways to occasionally drip in the marketing boost incentives. Uh, and by the way, your client never knows about marketing boost. So because they're, the trips are fulfilled by our travel company called redeemvacations.com. So okay. marketing boost is like the, um, the secret sauce for many a mastermind marketer, because you can give them away the incentive and you can give as many of these away as you want, but they, the client will never know about marketing boost. We're, we're not a B to C, you know, right. consumers, right. we're B to B. And so this way your, uh, your client is, holds that perce high perceived value of the incentive you gave them. Fantastic. Very good. L listen, um, how in this day and age in a crowded market how can entrepreneurs stand out more in this very competitive and crowded market yeah how do you stand out from the crowd 
And, you know, and that's where, for example, these incentives can really kick in. Right. So, uh, because, you know, if, if I'm looking to buy, you know, compare apples to apples or oranges to oranges, and I'm, and I'm uh, considering, you know, I know I need somebody to help me, you know, let's suppose it was help me launch my podcast show, right? So I need, I'm going to you know, hire a company to help me. And I want to launch my own podcast and that's the service they provide. But one co company A charges X amount for that and company B charges the same. But company B says, look, by the way, if you hire us to help you launch your podcast, man, you know, manage your, your, uh, your publications, your broadcasts, your editing, uh, we'll also, if you stick with us for a minimum of three months, we're going to reward you with, you know, a complimentary hotel stay in your choice of Las Vegas or Cancun or whatever on us. And the other company doesn't offer the hotel stay, which is going to be more attractive to me, which is going to possibly get me to interested in saying, and, and, and they, and they dangle the carrot. So they're earning two things with me. One, they might be getting a loyalty plan built in. They might say, you know, if you stick with us for six months, we'll reward you on your anniversary with a six day, five night stay at your choice of Hawaii or Cancun. So now I'm like, well, shoot, I'm going to get most, you know, and they, and they show the perceived value. That's $1,500. That's going to be like a rebate on what I paid them to help me launch my, to be, to hire them as a business coach, to hire them to build, to launch my podcast, to hire them to build my website, you know, whatever product or service you're offering, that's where these incentives can help your business stand out from the crowd, be slight, you know, be, be different because instead of just competing on price, you're now offering that adult happy meal to get people's off of the, off, not focusing on the price, focusing on the prize. Yeah. Of course, that's only going to work, mind you, if you already have a product or service that people can believe in. Correct. If we're not the magic bullet. Let me, disclaimer, right? Marketing boost is not going to help you start selling millions of dollars worth of product if it's not already something that's been proved, you know, something that's working. Or, if, or, you know, you can always, obviously, if you're a brand new idea, it can help you launch as well. But the, my point is, we're not the magic bullet that's going to make you succeed. We are one of the tools that will help you uh, stand out from that crowd and acquire more clients, acquire loyalty programs. They can be used in customer. Give me another idea. I'll give you another idea. How can they can even be used to solve customer service issues and control your online manager you know uh, reputation your online okay so for example let's say a client your team dropped the ball and you've taken too long to deliver you know on deliver on on whatever you promised you shipped the wrong product you know who knows and now your clients complaining they want their money back they want to write negative reviews they're ready to go ballistic so now you get on the phone with them and you might be saying, look, you know, we please, we, we, we accept the responsibility that we dropped the ball. We want to do, a, you know, ask you to please allow us to do a reset switch here. We want to, you know, ship you the, new, the correct product. We want to give us another 30 days to finish everything we were laid on. We're going to, you know, we're going to fix this for you. You got to fix the problem. And then you might say, just for your aggravation, we want to give you a complimentary hotel stay seven nights in nice. Phuket, Thailand, or three nice. nights in the Canary Islands or on us just to make up for our dropping the ball. And by the way, when we complete the, when, when we do solve this problem for you, and I do give you the complimentary hotel stay, would you be willing to remove that negative review online if we fix all this and I give you this hotel stay on us as part of the, uh, the solution? Mm. And, and you will find that people, even if they did write the negative review, they're willing to take it down. Right, right. And and right. so, you know, we find that these these can be used in a, such a myriad of ways to whether they're be used as contests for lead generation ideas. Mm. Uh, this is huge. They can be used for lead generation ideas. They can be used. They can be used to, to uh, oh, I'll tell you another idea in a moment, to support nonprofits. But anyway, they can be used for loyalty programs. Um, for example, if you have anything that you can reward people to be when they're with you after six months, 12 months, they can be used to, in, to motivate your sales organization, your sales staff as a contest. They can be used for um, 
um, referral programs, to request and solicit referrals, to request and solicit right. testimonials. Yeah. Um, shoot, we can we can go on and on. But hey, I was going to talk about another idea, another Let's case. Go that, for it. Uh, I've got tons of insurance agents and 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 they and realtors and mortgage companies. They what they're and, and this can be done in any industry really is to um, take that salesmanship hat off, salesman hat off, and and brand yourself as the authority, the expert, the philanthropist, and support local nonprofits in your community. And you can do that by so by sponsoring local nonprofits or even national nonprofits, but it, at at fundraising fundraising events, sponsor the event by giving them a half a dozen or a dozen or so of the complimentary hotel stays from Marketing Boost, and you'll tell them, hey, my company would like to sponsor this fundraising event you have coming up. We're going to donate six trips to the three of these the following destinations. You can offer them off as with an auction. You can do raffle tickets for them. You can, you can use them for you know a, a reason to entice your people to the golf tournament or whatever it is, and we will we'll give the trips away. No. Uh, you if you collect any money from it, you keep all of it. We don't want to touch the money. So if you're selling an auction or you're selling raffle tickets, that's all for you to keep the nonprofit. All we're asking for is. The day of the event, let uh, one of my representatives, you know, uh, tell everybody how these how these travel certificates work. Uh, that the fact that airfare and food and beverage and government taxes are not included, but we also want to just give everybody an elevator pitch about what we do. We're the experts right. in real estate. If you're if you're gonna if you need to buy, rent, invest, look for us. My, you know, Marco, I am the top, I'm the expert in real estate. Yada yada. So you're branding yourself, or your personal brand, or your business as the authority, the expert, the philanthropist, and business will flow your way by accident. And you're Absolutely. Wow, wow, wow. All I can say is wow, Marco. Now, Marco, nice work. Really well explained in terms of incentive-based marketing. Now, for those people who want to know more about Marco or Marketing Boost, uh, what's the best way for them to get in touch with you or um, find out more information? Yeah, uh, just go to marketingboost.com. On that page, we do have a link to join our Facebook group with over 28,000 entrepreneurs okay. uh, and where we're sharing these types of ideas and uh, we're teaching people how to, you know, how to, how to use these incentives to grow. And, and I'm in that group all the time. So you can uh, direct message me there with questions as well. And, and uh, we, will, uh, we will help you. By the way, we do have a special offer for your listeners, Mac, if that's okay. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Tell them if it helps. You can, you can go to marketingboost.com forward slash podcast and get 30 days of Marketing Boost for only $1. One US dollar, marketingboost.com forward slash podcast for 30 days of Marketing Boost for $1. After that, by the way, it's only $37 a month. So it's a no brainer for Absolutely. any entrepreneur to, uh, to, to test it out, give it a shot. And it, we're so affordable that Again, you, even if you only use some of these incentives occasionally to yeah. add value to your business, it's worth it. And you could create full-blown marketing strategy campaigns based on the, you know, with these incentives, or you could just drib, dribble them in occasionally to create excitement, enthusiasm, build your Facebook following, uh, create, you know, uh, engagement, rebuild an old database that's getting, you know, email database run a contest to get them engaged again. Just, uh, you know. I, I can hear there's so much that can be done. Hey, so you know, listen, as we're wrapping up here, Mark, I want to say thank you. And uh, for those who are listening and watching, make sure you subscribe, you follow, uh, put some comments in, in terms of what did you learn about incentive-based marketing in terms of value add instead of discounting. Marco gave a lot of different examples. And also if you want to learn more, check out, marketingboost.com special offer there as well marketingboost.com forward slash podcast i didn't know you were going to do that uh, marco but thank you for providing that to our, our, our listeners if you want to stand out from the crowd you've got to do something different and what i love about what marco is saying is instead of discounting you can position yourself you can be positioned as the authority you can give charitably philanthropically you can be seen as someone who wants to make a difference rather than someone who just wants to make a quick buck. We are in business. Business is about making profit, making money. 
But if you've got another tool, another resource, another strategy that helps you to stand out, then great. So Marco, you share that very, very well in this particular um, podcast. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Any last words before we um, finish off here, Marco? Stay thirsty, my friends. That's my um, my line. A lot of people say I look like that. When I had my full beard, they said I look like the guy from the uh, uh, Dos Equis commercials. So I like to say stay thirsty, my friends. Stay thirsty for knowledge. Keep on always learning, always growing, always listening to podcasts like this where you can grab and get ideas to enhance and grow your business. Absolutely. Heard from Marco Torres all the way from Florida uh, and sharing with us some great golden nuggets here. Marco, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time and energy. And thank you for all that you shared today. Check him out. Marco Torres, marketingboost.com forward slash podcast. So Marco, thank you. And I will speak to you very, very soon. Thank you for all your information. Thank you. You're most welcome.